are now in the deep end of horror. And I will see the life run out of you. Hello, my children of the popcorn. This is just a quick entry into Mike's Monster Mask Reviews 100 Subscriber Contest. He is awesome. You should definitely check out his channel. I will, of course, include a link below. Um, he does wonderful stuff with masks, and he wanted to know a showpiece of your collection. And I'm going to show two of them, specifically masks. I have a lot of pieces that I really love. Two in particular are masks. Um, my friend Erica Summers made a film, a horror movie, called Mr. White. And this is the film Mr. White. And my daughter was the makeup artist on that film. And she also appears very briefly in the film. But she's the makeup artist on that film. And they both know what incredible horror fan I am. So when the film finished shooting, they gave me one of the masks they used in the film. Um, there were only three ever made. I know Erica has one of them. I have one of them, and I don't know who has the third one. Um, but this is one of my absolute favorite, probably my favorite piece in my collection. And let me show off the, the mask. Hopefully the camera's capturing some of this. It's got some tufts of hair. And of course, I don't collect masks, so I don't have any mask forms to put these on. One of these days I'll, I'll pick one up. But honestly, roll of paper towels usually does well for me to display a, to display a head. And so that is the screen used mask for Mr. White. And then of course, I buried the lead. I forgot the best part. They both thought, <coughs> they both know what a horror fan I am. So I was allowed to help them with special effects one day on the set of Mr. White. And because of that, I have an IMDb credit on Mr. White. Thanks, Erica. Thanks, Myra. Anywho, uh, Andrew Bell and I wanted to see um, the Michael Myers that I had gotten. He had seen Freddy and Jason ones, and there's also a Sam, Samwise from Trick or Treat one. Here's the plastic bowl that fits in his hand. And he's got a little upraised block so that, so that that remains steady. Um, I had a pumpkin on it earlier. And he's pretty, he's just got a pretty good combination of, of sculpt and style while remaining small. I think he looks pretty neat. Here's the back of him. And then one other piece that Andrew wanted to see was, was the thing from another world. Hopefully my camera isn't going crazy zooming in and out like it normally does. And then the second piece I have, which I don't like nearly as much, but it is a mask, so I thought I would show it off. Um, Severin put out, Severin put out this incredible Blood Island collection, which I absolutely love, and is unfortunately out of print. Um, Brides of Blood, Mad Doctor of Blood Island, Terror is a Man, and Beast of Blood. And the first three are available separately from Severin's website, and they're still available, but Beast of Blood was only in the box set. And these are, are wonderfully cheesy Filipino horror movies that used to be seen on drive-ins across the country. And when they came out with their box set, they had a special bundle that was limited to 45, that was limited to 45 copies where you got that, a bunch of tchotchkes, and the Beast of Blood mask. And this is from Trick or Treat Studios. They also made some additional masks to sell separately. Um, so apparently it's about a $50 mask. It's for a very obscure film. It's from Beast of Blood. And they, call it, they called it the Dr. Lorca Beast, the Dr. Lorca bundle. But this is not Dr. Lorca. This is, I want to say Ramon is the character's name. Um, Dr. Lorca keeps him as a head, so it's, it's actually appropriate that he's just a head here, because he's just a head in the film. And Severin's description on the website was, Celebrate this coming Halloween with the world's most unique monster mask from the bowels of obscure cinema, with Severin Films exclusive and incredibly limited Beast of Blood mask, lovingly made by the amazing people from Trick or Treat Studios. 
Again, these quantities are very limited, so once these generously priced masks are gone, they're gone for good from our shop. So, those are my two favorite masks in my collection, and I love both of them so much. Thank you, and subscribe to Mike's Monster Mask Review if you haven't already. He does an awesome job of describing masks, showing excellent masks. He has such an eye for detail that I, I wouldn't even know what to do. If I wanted to buy a mask, I would ask him which one was a good one to buy. Anyway, thank you, and we'll see you later. Click like, subscribe, or even comment below, because I want to hear what you think. No fair.